system of circles. Now we discuss about the system of circles. We have already discussed about circles and its various properties. Now comes the question on discussing on the system of circles. What do we mean by system of circles? The system is nothing but a group of circles which we take together. Say for example, if I have is equal to C. This is as similar as what we have taken in the form of x square plus y square equal to r square. If I assume the radius to be a C, a constant, then we get a system of circles. That is, if I take C with different values, if I take C belonging to all real numbers, for every C belonging to the real number, we get a different circle. Say so for example, c equals to 1 implies x square plus y square equals 1 square. And c equals to 2 implies x square plus y square equals to 2 square is how we get the derivation. Similarly, c equals 100 implies x square plus y square is 100 square and etc. This makes us understand that for different values of c belonging to the set of real numbers, we get different types of equations. These together form the system of circles with a fixed c belonging to r. That is, if I take say for example the first circle x squared plus y squared equal to 1, then this is a circle with radius 1. Next, if I take x square plus y square equal to 2 square, it's a, it's a unit circle with radius 2 and center origin is what we get. And similarly, if I go on, I get a circle with radius 100. So these set of circles together, the concentric circles form the system. The whole of the circles form the system with the common equation x square plus y square equals to c square. So such type of equations which are generally represented with a constant or a parameter c belonging to real numbers is said to be the system of circles. The value of c defines the whole system of circles. With c equal to 1, I get the initial circle and c equal to 2, I get this etc and etc. When c is 100, I get a circle which all this system is the concentric circles which you see in this xy coordinate system and whole system depends on c. This is how we define the system of circles taken with this example. Now next is the concept of angle between the circles. <laughs> now initially we have seen that we have the angle between two lines which we all know as if I have two lines which are intersecting, then the angle between the lines is either this or this, or this and this is equal, is this. That's how we define the angle between the two lines. So similarly, the two circles are said to have some angle between them, provided the two circles are intersecting. So here, the important factor is that angle depends on intersecting circles. If the two circles are not intersecting, then we don't have angle between them because they are simply far apart from each other. So angle is related to the intersecting circles in the way that if suppose I have two circles then angle between the circles is nothing but the angle between the tangents. That is, if I have the two circles intersecting here, this point of intersection, if I denote with P, has two tangents, one to circle with C1 and one to the circle with center C2. 
So if I have a tangent drawn here, which is T1 to this circle, and there's another tangent which is drawn out here for the second circle, which is T2, then angle between two circles is nothing but angle between their tangents. This is said to be the angle between the two tangents. It is very important to note that angle between two circles is angle between their tangents at the point of intersection. <coughs> is very important note out here which we need to make. Angle between two circles is angle between the tangents at the point of intersection. An angle exists only for intersecting circles. That's how we understand. So here theta is the angle between T1 and T2. That's how we understand the angle for intersecting circles. Next. Now, now that we have discussed about the angle between two circles, the biggest question which comes out here is that if suppose I have two intersecting circles, this is with center C1 and this is with center C2 and suppose the two circles intersect at P and Q <laughs> for these two intersecting circles which intersect at P and Q now that we have defined the angle between two circles as angle between the tangents T1 and T2 now similarly I have the other point of intersection where I have the angle which can be formed if I take a tangent from here and then from here so that I denote this with T3 and T4. So if I take angle between T1 and T2 as theta 1 and if I take the angle between T3 and T4 at the point of intersection Q as theta 2, then geometrically it is a fact that theta 1 will be equal to theta 2. That is, for both the points of intersections, the angle between the two circles is either the angle here or the angle here because both the angles are equal geometrically. So the angle between two circles is the angle between the tangents drawn at the point of intersection either at P or at Q because theta 1 being equal to theta 2 geometrically. So I have S equals x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0 in the general form and I have the other circle denoted by s dash that is x square plus y square plus 2g dash x plus 2f dash y plus c dash equals 0. So for these two circles if I would like to find the angle between the circles in the general form I have cos theta given by c plus c dash minus 2 b 2 g g dash minus 2 f f dash whole by root of 2 times of root this and g dash square plus f dash square 
minus c dash <coughs> is how we get the angle between the two circles in general form given by this formula. <coughs>